that what is that sack force fumble fill the last. Ah, they're always fucking. I love uh, it's my my it's my job. So when I'm doing when I hunt, finally hunt down QB and get the ball out and help my team, it's kind of the epitome of what our, our position is supposed to do. So it's good. What did you want to get across to guys at halftime? You know, if they had that seven minute drive right before the break. Or what, what did you want to do as a leader? Um, just everybody needs to take a deep breath. You know what I'm saying? We we don't need to panic. Just keep doing our job. Um, I was telling, you know, I was talking to some uh, some people uh, last week with Northwestern. They were saying, you know, you were trying to go out there and win the game. You need to do the, you need to make the plays that you're trained to do to help us win the game. There's a difference. Um, and I didn't want anybody. I wanted people to learn from my mistake. So I was telling my guys, we don't need to panic. We need to breathe. We need to keep doing our job. There's nothing that we need to change. Keep running. Keep no, doing what we need to do in the sense of running the ball. Be physical. There's nothing. You know, that's how you win football games. So uh, just to mess with those guys, keep them calm, keep, don't panic, keep doing our job, make the plays when they come to you. Garrett, there was kind of a similar rhythm to last week in that you guys got ahead by a couple scores in the third quarter and then gave it back. And then there was kind of going to be that, that time when somebody was going to take control. Mm -hmm. Did you guys notice that on the sidelines? And did you see any different reaction uh, this week than last? Um, you know, there are, I mean, there's rhythms of the game. Obviously, you can tell which momentum shifts and who makes plays and stuff like that. But in the sense of, like, identical to last week, no. Um, we know situational football in the sense of, you know, if they get a turnover, we have to go put out the fire to get the momentum back on our side and help the offense out. You know, we get a strip sack fumble, offense knows they have to go out and score to keep that momentum going. Uh, with the back and forth as a team, uh, you know, new staff, young players, new players, just understanding that type of football and how to take over that game, not just winning, but taking over those situations, um, you know, with the rhythm of the game and just making our own rhythm, uh, how we operate as a team. That's kind of our next step as leaders is understanding those situations and how to talk to those guys of what's important during this time of the game or situation of the game. How was the week of practice and how was your confidence impacted by that opening loss? Yeah, um, like I said, I talked to some people. Um, I put a lot of it on my shoulders in the sense of um, I'm a new leader. Um, that was my first game as a leader, and you come out and do that. You know, I think Northwestern had 500 some yards, the most they had in two years. Um, you know, I, I personally, you know, didn't do anything to help our team win. Um, you know, splash plays, things like that. Uh, you, I, I, you know, I hope you guys know me well enough to take that pretty personally. So, um, understanding that that doesn't, I got a bunch of text mess messages and talked to people that that one game doesn't define me as a leader. That one game doesn't define this team as a team. This, that one play, that game doesn't define me as a player. Um, and that was really hard to work past that because, you know, obviously, um, work really hard and you know all the he, you know gonna do great and all that stuff and um just kind of understanding and that's what uh coach dawson told me uh the you know make the plays that come to you to help us win the game don't try to go and win the game really focusing on my job and the best i could do it and use my leadership as a weapon and not just and be a constant rhythm for those guys and not um get outside that zone in the sense of trying to do everything how long did it take you this week to work through uh, it, it took a, it took a couple of days. I will admit it. Um, my, I cut those guys, you know, Buford uh, helped me out a ton. Um, he he hugged me and he told me he loves playing with me. He wouldn't want to play with anybody else. And that um, kind of, you know, it felt like the way the world was on my head. And I wasn't really Garrett. You know, I'm usually a pretty happy guy. I would like to think. And I was just um, just pounding around, honestly. Um, and he, you know, he grabbed me and told me that, and uh, told me he loved me, and it kind of got me out of that cr cloud in the sense of started talking to people and um, helped me a ton. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really appreciate him doing that, and the people that I talked to, I really appreciate them putting things in perspective as as a younger leader and um, as a as a leader on the defense and just understanding um, how things work. And like I said, just kind of putting things in perspective for myself as a player and as a leader. How close do you, you think you guys are to being a run defense you, you really want to be? Like, what are the maybe the last few things that you want to put in place? Yeah, uh, that X run that they had, obviously just cleaning up. We always talk about um, the X runs or just X plays that they have. Um, 
those little details like i was talking to miles he was uh being the edge there and i'm coming down in a blitz or whatever and um he, he doesn't need to jump out to the qb he needs to tackle the dive and just getting your getting eyes right pretty much in the long-winded version um being a great defense being elite defense you don't let those x plays happen you just keep like i said that consistent rhythm going out there making stops only giving them you know one or two first downs giving the ball back doing your job um and just telling your players that um just those things that we clean up, like I said, um, new, new defense, uh, new guys, different pieces, you know what I'm saying? Um, getting Figuring out how to play with each other and uh, when you're on the field, how to make those plays and do your job. First sack for him, I'm so proud of him. Hopefully he shares it with me. I touched him too. It was great. Uh, no, I was, um, I was really proud of him, man. He, he did awesome. Um, that's Like I said, that's our job. We got to go do that. So, gave him a big hug, told him I love him. I know it was the other side of the ball, but were you taking some stock of what Anthony was doing out there? And I, I assume you see that quite a bit. Uh, yeah, he's he's the happiest guy probably in the world. He always smiles. He has the biggest, goofiest smile on his face. And I hug him, tell him I love him all the time. He's so happy to see me, and I'm happy to see him. So, um, th yeah, that guy is incredible at football. So, uh, keep doing that. that. I think will be pretty solid. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you.